putting the table together, putting the table together. <laughs> putting the table together. Hello, mate. You come to help me. Mm -hmm. Nee. You're a good boy. Roger, Roger. What's my vector, Victor? Do I have clearance, Clarence? Can we have some runway lights on, please? Oh, good morning everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Paul Blackwell and this is Buster's Boy here to talk about all things camping and photography related. Well good morning, it's another beautiful morning here in the East Midlands. The sun is definitely shining and it's uh, mid-September time for me at the moment. I'm hopefully going on a camping trip next week although at the moment with lockdowns at the moment that's a little bit we don't know. Hopefully that'll be in a future video. This video is all about gear. Now Next week marks my second anniversary of my first solo camping trip uh, in Norfolk. And back then I literally filled the car up to the brim. The boot, back seat, the front seat, it was packed full. Um, and in those two years since then, I have found gear, products that I found useful, that are either smaller, lighter, or just suit my needs better. And that's what this video is about. There's two particular products that I've found that I really really like and really enjoy and a couple of people have actually been uh, commenting on them already so this is just a quick video to show you those products in a little bit more detail okay so let's get this review underway but first uh oh, I need a chair hold on let's see if this works <laughs> and one magically appears the brilliance ah lovely <sighs> right okay time to get this review underway this camp chair is so comfortable, it's incredible. But more on that later. A um, little bit of background information for you to begin with. I am someone who likes to go camping in a campsite, normally when the car's nearby, and if I want to get anything, I can literally just get it from the car. However, I do have aspirations to go while camping. This means everything that I take has got to be narrowed down into a rucksack and carried on my person. So ideally, I need a product or products that can do both needs. I can't take a massive table or I can't take a massive chair. It all needs to be compacted down in both. I can't afford a small chair for one style of camping and a large chair for another style of camping, for argument's sake. I need to make compromises, shall we say. Now, in a video I did early in the year, it was for the Jetboard Minimo. And in that video, there was a small little camping table, which a few people commented on and asked about. And I thought it was high time that I actually brought that further to the attention and brought it here for you today. So as I was saying, the, uh, the table comes in four parts. You've got the two legs here and you've got the two plates here, which is the main part of your table. Now, these go together like so. To assemble the table, we place it upside down. There's a couple of little notches here and here either end and we need to place them upside down like so there's two little holes at either end and then with our legs we've actually got two little points here either end they need to slot in here and at the other end but what we need to do is slot underneath those slots in the middle first like so. So now we've got a tension here. Do that again. The thing is we're doing this on grass, you'll find you get lots of grass blades in the middle. So hook one in at one end, slot it under the slots <laughs> for want of a better term. And then it's a little bit tricky. And then hook in at the other end. Now you've got the tension running all the way through, but now we have a nice little table. The table measures at about 10 centimeters off the ground and again we're looking at 30, 34.5 centimeters long and 25 centimeters across. Weighs 480 grams. Light as a feather, just the job 
for keeping your cooking off the ground. Hello, good morning again. Uh, change of clothes, it's a different day. Seems to be having more changes of clothes on this particular video than a Eurovision Song Contest presenter. Okay, so I um, started uploading a video and I thought, yeah, I'll have a look, and there was something missing, but I couldn't quite work it out. And then I realized when I was walking the dog this morning, <laughs> yeah, he forgot to review the products. No point showing him and go, hm, there you go. So uh, yeah, my opinion on the uh, Ibisingo mini camping table. Bear in mind that all reviews are subjective and that my opinion may vary from yours. Now, the mini camping table from Ibisingo is a beautiful little design. It's sturdy, it's strong, it's uh, light and compact. You can use it while camping or camping in a campsite. I use it personally as a little cooking area so I can put the stove on that. And then if I do use a bigger table set at a campsite, then I can use that to eat off or put drinks on for later on. And it just keeps the two areas separate. The only probably slight downside is the fact that when you're building it, it's a little bit finicky at start, but you do get used to that. Um, and I can't really knock it down for that because it is so sturdy. It's, uh, it's a very good structure. So for that, I'm going to give it five out of five. I, I just can't really fault it. And I love, I love the colour of the blue at the minute. And I know they do other colours as well. So maybe blue is not your style. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic little product and well, well worth the money. And that brings me on to the second and final product on this video. This is the same chair that I showed you earlier. This is the Trekology Yizzy Go camping chair I bought from Amazon a few months ago. The pack size is 14 inches by length and 7 inches across and it weighs 1036 grams. And this will support my weight and I weigh 15 and a half stone. That's quite incredible for something of this size. So easy to put up as well, which is what I'm going to show you right now. Right, dead. So simple, straightforward. We don't need the bag. Unzip. Ah, there we go. You've got two parts. You've got the fabric part, and you've also got the skeleton. And you've got a Velcro tie. And then literally, let it all plug in to its holes. It pretty much builds itself. Just make sure that all the poles are in located properly into the, all the holes that are there. Now on each of the four corners you'll find a little tiny pocket. The two for the bottom do not have these little pull cords. So we locate the bottom ones in first. Da -da -da. There we go. There you go first, like so, and then, and then the ones at the back, you hold on to the pull cord and just stretch it over the back, and then pull over there, like that. Simple, straightforward, and now you can use that as a bona fide chair. Now that's all well and good, but what happens if maybe you've camped on ground that's a little bit saturated from rain or maybe you're near sand one of the legs sinks into the sand and all of a sudden you find that you've gone a little bit less horizontal you need something like this this is called a sand cover and this literally just covers each of the four legs at the bottom like so and then that means that one leg isn't going to sink in quite so easy as it would before. With the sand cover in place, now I can sit down, watch the world go by, relaxed, safe in the knowledge that one or more legs aren't going to sink into the soft soil below. All I need is a beer now, or a coffee. Waiter service is just terrible around here. And that brings me finally to the review of the Trekology Yizzy Go folding camping chair. Now I will remind you at this point that all reviews are subjective and my opinion may differ from yours and that's perfectly all right by me. Right, uh, yeah, this chair is brilliant. Absolutely love it. It's lightweight, compact. You barely know you've got it on you. If you want to go for a nice long walk, you can carry it alongside you, no problem. And if you feel like you're getting tired, get it out. It only takes a couple of seconds and boom, job done. Maybe the one downside with this chair is the fact that its back isn't a high back. So if you want to 
relax and rest your head, then you've not got that luxury. But there are other camping chairs out there like that. On the whole, I think the chair is absolutely fantastic. I love its portability. I love how lightweight it is. And for that, I'm going to give it five out of five. Top marks, Trekology. Trek, top marks. So that about wraps it up for this video. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. All the products featured in today, both the table and the chair. Look how light that is. I mean, look at it, brilliant. Uh, I'll put links in the description box below. Please be aware though, that I am an affiliate of Amazon and therefore may make a small commission on any purchases made via that link. As you can see, I'm also wearing a nice little new t-shirt from Paul Mesner. Paul Mesner is a fellow YouTuber and all round good guy. He creates a lot of hiking and camping videos. And uh, yeah, I've learned a lot from him over the last few years and uh, his message of leave no trace, I think is superb. So if you'd like to follow him, I'll put a link on the side for you. And um, that about wraps it up. I'd like to thank you very much for watching once again and hope to see you again in the next one. Hopefully the next one will be featuring a little bit of Northumberland and the Lake District hopefully so fingers crossed i really am i'm in the middle of packing but there you go covid take care folks bye bye for now you smell good you had a bath recently didn't you yeah you need a bath a good boy what do you want to put the table together yeah place camp at. The dogs today are just terrible. It must be Wolf Wolf Day. Last one ever, the last one ever. I'm literally running out of battery. I want the legs to sink into the sand. So, trickology, I've got to come up with... <laughs> I love you. You're a good boy. Okay. <laughs> no, you tired? It was you that snoring last night. It was. It weren't me. Actually, it might have been. It's the next day. I completely forgot to actually part, put the little... <laughs> my brain. Now, I will remind you the fact that all reviews are subjective and therefore that be... <laughs> <laughs> Go again. That all reviews to so, oh, do it again. I'm gonna get you bum bum. Go on, I'll play with you in a minute. I love him to bits. Brilliant dog. Buster, back door. Back door. <laughs>